Okay, let's talk about sales returns and allowances. Those are dissatisfied customers and sales discounts. Those are customers to whom we offer terms and they pay us early so they get to take a discount. So remember at the top of our multi-step income statement, we had gross sales minus sales returns and allowances. Those are dissatisfied customers minus sales discounts. Those are customers that pay us early and that's the discount that they get to take. So let's walk through a real simple example of how that might look. So let's say we send out an invoice to our customer for $105 on January 2nd. The terms are 2, 10, net 30. If they pay us within 10 days, they can take a 2% discount. Why do we do that? We want customers to pay us early. The sooner they pay us, the sooner we can reinvest that cash into our business. And also, the sooner they pay us, the less likely it is that their account receivable will go bad. So in terms of journal entries, and T accounts, they owe us $105. Accounts receivable is an asset. Assets increase with debits. If expense or debits, expense or debits, expense or debits, the opposite of expenses, sales must increase with credits. So this account keeps track of our revenue, whether we get paid today, tomorrow, or never. And if we're in the perpetual inventory system, we also have to update our inventory. So let's pretend these things that we sold them cost us $60. So our, our cost of the goods that we just sold is $60 and we take that $60 out of inventory. So let's pretend three days go by and the customer says, I want to return one of these uh, pens. We sold them the pen for five bucks. It cost us $3. So we have to undo this sale. The sale was a credit. We could debit sales, but we want to keep track of our dissatisfied customers. Management wants to know if we have a lot of those or a few of those. So instead we debit this contra revenue account called sales returns and allowances. The customer also owes us $5 less because they returned that item to us. If we're in the perpetual inventory system, we have to return that item to inventory. Inventory is an asset, it increases with debits. Cost of goods sold is an expense, it increases with debits and decreases with credits. So now we've done this return after like three days. So a couple more days go by and now it's time for them to pay us. How much do they owe us? The original 105 minus the $5, which was the return, means they owe us $100. If they pay us within 10 days, they get to take a 2% discount. So why don't you pause this video and see if you can figure out how big a check they're gonna write us. Okay, I hope you got it. They get to take a 2% discount off the $100 they owe us, so they're going to write us a check for $98. So we're going to debit cash for $98. We're going to credit accounts receivable for $100 because that's what they owe us, $105 minus $5. And that journal entry doesn't balance. We're going to make it balance with a sales discount. So we're going to debit sales discount for $2. Sales discounts are when customers pay us early. Sales discounts are when customers pay us early. And we want to keep track of those because we want to see if our terms, 2, 10, net 30, are effective. Are customers taking advantage of that and paying us early? If not, maybe we should change it to 3, 10, net 30. We really want our customers to pay us early because the sooner they pay us, the sooner we can reinvest the cash in our business. So if you looked up here at our uh, accounts, we had gross sales of 105 minus sales returns and allowances of five, minus sales discounts of two, gives us net sales of $98. Now, when we pay early, we take purchase discounts if we're in the periodic inventory system, or we credit inventory if we're in the perpetual inventory system. So when we pay early, or when we return stuff, we reduce our inventory cost either directly in the perpetual system with a credit to inventory or indirectly in the periodic system with a credit to say purchase returns and allowances or purchase discounts so please remember sales discounts are when customers pay us early there you go